I have an example where I was in a group webinar and I was leading an art journaling class and uh, this woman, Amy, was like, I have a question because one of the first things you do is you ask yourself a question, what's bothering me? Or what am I about to do that I'm not sure of? What am I thinking of doing and I'm hesitating on and why? It's better, art journaling helps you get to the root of what you're about to do and the reason behind it, the intention. So for example, Amy wanted to fight her husband, her ex-husband, because she realized that he really belittled her for many, many years, didn't pay enough child support, and she felt angry. What we discovered is that she felt angry with herself for not speaking up sooner, and she wanted retaliation much later. And that retaliation was going to put her in harm's way. He was not gonna take it kindly. In fact, he was kind of dangerous. So through our journaling, we were able to show what it looked like when she didn't have a voice, what he was like in her life, how small she felt, how much she wanted to be heard. And then we got to redirect it. Well, how can you be heard in a way that it's not going to harm you? And how can you be heard in a way that it's going to help other people? And she was going to speak about it in a book, in a group and help other women. So she could have thought, oh, I'll get the money from him and I'll feel better. But she could also use that experience to not put herself in harm's way because he would have been dangerous and to be able to perhaps make money by starting something that would help other people with that situation she suffered through. It's very dharmic. It's very dharmic. And by the way, our suffering is for a reason. We become the wounded healers. Wherever we are wounded, that's a key to where we can be helping others. So I immediately say, this happened to me because this benefits me in this way, and this will be benefit other people because I've gone through it and I'm closer to their pain. I understand.